Chicken here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be getting into some discussion about the best statues and the worst statues to use and to have for these monthly mega crabs. So this is this is a big change now because before, back when the mega crab was only here every three uh, months, every twelve weeks ish around that time, uh, it was a big deal to change your statues for that one single event because. Like, for most of your Boom Beach career, your time, you're not playing on the Mega Crab, right? It's only here four times a year. But now that we have it every single month, and the fact that you can get these crazy uh, rewards, you can really stack up on your some diamonds, uh, you can stack up on Power Powder, you can really just, just get tons and tons and tons of Power Stones. It's really worth doing everything that you can uh, to, get, to take down as many Crab Stages as possible. So... We're going to be talking about this, guys. So let's go ahead and load up the... Uh, what do we got? We'll, uh, we'll load up... I guess we'll go with some taunt today. And we'll, uh, we'll, take on, we'll take on Dr. Terrence. So first off, we're going to go over uh, green statues. Um, ice statues obviously don't have any effect on my crab. So um, we'll touch on that a little bit. Then we'll get into red statues. And then we'll get into the purple statues, guys. So uh, first off, green statues. Using green statues in general... 100% of the time, it, there's no point to it. There's a, The only time you use a green statue is if you're level 10 and you can't physically make any other statues. Any other statue in the game is going to be better than a green statue unless you're extremely low levels. Like, such a low level that you're probably... Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, you could just do anything at that point and you're going to progress. So, um, yeah, there's no point to having green statues. Uh, so definitely avoid those. Like... Think of it this way. In one Mega Crab attack, you're going to get more resources uh, if you're past stage 10 on, on the Mega Crab than you would all day having a resource production boost or whatever. So don't use green statues, guys. They're not good for anything. Uh, next up, we'll talk about ice statues. So ice statues can be okay um, depending on your VP level. I mean, if you're over like 600 VP, people are probably active enough that unless you have lots of ice statues... Um, they're gonna know how to play the game. They're gonna know how to take down your base. It's not really gonna save you. Like it's not gonna. Like the point we could make is that um, is that uh, if you have ice statues out, like your all the loot that you're gaining from the crab when you go offline is protected. But that's only gonna work if you have a lot of ice statues, and it's really not worth the uh, like the it, it it's not worth like the cost benefit um, of, of of even putting them out in the first place in in terms of progression in the game in terms of like overall enjoyment unless the only reason to have ice statues is if you're doing a vp push or if you don't play very often you really really desperately need to protect your your, your base because you only log in once a week and uh you're you're not going to be gaining resources because you're not playing anyway so um that's the ice statues that's the green statues now the actual important statues we have the um the offensive statues the so how many gunboat energy statues do you really need to be awful how many troop damage statues do you need um, but before we get into, we'll talk about the gunboat, we'll talk about troop damage, we'll talk about troop health last. Before we get into those, we're going to be discussing, um, power stone chance and, um, and resource rewards. So, these can both have a ton of benefit, uh, but the thing about power stone chance is now, I feel like the power stone chance statue overall, by the mech rounds becoming monthly, got, like, a, a massive, massive indirect nerf. Like, there's no point... There's almost, like, I don't want to say there's no point in using them. Like, sure, if you if you really are, um, like, if your goal is 100% to just gain as much power power as possible and, and gain as much power stones as possible, obviously having more power stone chance overall is going to help with that. But we get so many guaranteed, um, the power stone chance statues don't work on the Mega Crab from what we've seen so far. There have been cases and instances where people say that they get more stones, but for the most part, even if they do work, they haven't been re reported to work very well. Um, we can do more testing on this as these crabs come out because we don't know if the crabs are going to be different, if they're going to change. But so far what we know is that Power Stone Chance has not worked or has not worked significantly on uh, on Mega Crab as, a, as opposed to how it works in the, in the real live, uh, in the actual uh, game that we play in the PvP modes and, and, and the events and everything like that. So um, for that reason, I feel like the Power Stone Chance uh, statue has become kind of null and void. Uh, because we're able to get so many stones from the crab without uh, without having it and you're able to get so much loot like that That's the thing you're able to get so many stones from the crab as is now That like it kind of makes general power powder farming not point 
pointless, but like there's gonna be such a there's gonna be such a spike in the in the in the in the Boom Beach economy of, of power powder and, and, and just power stones in general because of because of the, the crab coming here every month. So I would say steer clear of, of placing an extra power stone chance or placing one at all if you're if you're doing that right now if you're new to the game or you're th just in general you're thinking about putting one down because the fact that we have the mega crab now it it kind of uh you're gonna get the benefit of basically having a power stone chance uh statue just by having these mega crabs every month so i feel like that covers the uh the power stone chance so the resource reward again very similar to uh to what we just said about uh the power stone chance statue uh, maybe even more so because, um, again, unless you're a super low level or if, like, I would say if you're under level 40, um, sure, you can have one for a bit because, uh, ideally you're going to be playing long enough where, um, you can make some, you can make some changes down the line as your stat, as, as you roll better statues and stuff. Obviously, I hope that nobody is ever, uh, scrapping a perfect gunboat energy, a perfect troop damage, or a perfect troop health, uh, for any of these statues that we talked about so far because that would not be worth it, guys, but... Uh, you get so many, you get so much loot on the crab that having a resource reward, unless you're, unless you're planning on being inactive for, for a fair period, um, there's no point, uh, there's no point of the resource, like, it's not pointless, sure, if you just want to get as, as much loot as possible, get some upgrade done, and then get in and get out, sure, that would be fine, but, it, like, in terms of an optimal sense, um, like, it, it would make sense, you'd be better off, you'd be better off with the offensive statues, for sure, um, uh, just because, like we said, you're gonna get so much loot from uh, from the crab overall that there's no need to really um, to to, to um, there's no need to really um, hinder your offense by not having extra offensive statues. Um, what are we doing on the stack chicken? Uh, by not having better offensive statues by having the extra resource reward that you don't really need uh, to begin with. So, um, so that's it for resource reward. Um, and of course, guys, let me know down below in the comments if you have different opinions. This is all just uh, chicken's opinion for the most part. Uh, some of it's fact, but um, but yeah, if you have different differentiating uh, differentiating opinions, definitely let me know that down below in the comments, guys. Um, all right, so we'll go like this and like this, and we'll get a uh, health pack one up here. I think we might actually get uh, get wrecked on this one, guys, but that's okay. Um, all right, so resource reward. I think uh, I think we talked about that enough. Um, we're gonna have to do this tag over here because that was. Uh, it's a little, uh, little, the chicken was got a little distracted there, guys, but, um, but yeah, so resource ward, power stone chance, you get enough stuff from the crab anyways where you don't really need them, so, uh, let's talk about next, gunboat energy, troop damage, and troop health, we'll just lump it all in, into one, because they all, they all go together, so, uh, gunboat energy statues, now, this depends on how far you want to get in the crab, because the crab on stages 1 through 30, is a very very different crab than uh, stages 30 through 60, 60 through 90, 90 through 120. Um, it, it's just be it becomes a different game. So early on, if your goal is just to get to stage 40, stage 50, like using a lot of boost, um, you're gonna be better off running like um, kind of what what uh, what the chicken had last time, and that was a, a very like a, a very heavy. Uh, Scorcher tank favorite statue lineup and it didn't prove very it didn't prove extremely useful in the later stages But I got off to a fantastic start So if you just want to beat your friends out of the gate That's a good way to do it is to go heavy on the troop damage heavy on the troop health like two or three troop healths um, three troop damage and then uh, and then four GBE to make up the difference uh, you definitely always want to have a hefty amount of, G of gunboat energy if you are a max player and uh, you are planning on getting as far as you can in the crab. But I would say overall, if you're just if you just if you're just saying chicken, I just want to get as far as I can get on the crab. What are the best statues to get me there? Um, I would say minimum five GBE. I would say minimum uh, three troop damage. Actually, I would go with the. I would just, like, it, it's almost the same as Operation Statues when it really comes down to it, because there's so many smoky heavy Zooka attacks, but these also take a lot of skill. Like, they're not easy, it's not easy to get really, uh, to get really far in the crab, regardless of your statue. So, if you think you can, uh, if you can, uh, make up the difference with your own skill, then, by all means, go 541. I think keeping that one true Pell statue is absolutely vital. Um, but other than that, it's it, it like this is where your skill comes into play as well. Um, but I think that 
I think that uh, five four one um, or four um, four gunboat energies. Oh my god, are we can take down the space guys. Come on, one more shot, one more shot, and boom! Stage seven goes down. Back, back, back. So either some combination of five four one. Uh, I would have I would have at the absolute minimum four uh, gunboat energy statues. I would have at the absolute minimum one troop health statue, and I would have at the absolute minimum uh, three troop damage statues. I wouldn't really. Uh, and, and then just kind of cater it towards your personal preference of the troops that you use. Like, say you don't like Smoky Heavy Zooka, you're just straight and all Zooka player, that's fine. Tailor your statues for that, that's going to get you even farther. Um, say you just want to use uh, Scorchers and Tanks, then I, by all means, tailor your statues for that, and you'll probably get even farther. I mean, if you've never used Smoky Zooka in your life, and you're making your the, the best statue layout for using Smoky Zooka, it's probably not going to be as good as if you're a, you're a Warrior player and you have your statues for that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this down below in the comments, guys. It's probably going to be a controversial uh, comment section, so I'm excited to read it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to subscribe so you see the, the Mega Crab Land um, first. We are going to be doing a, um, a, a live stream when it lands down on the New Zealand time zone. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Guys, that is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Oh,